Michelle and today I am back with a new video where I'm going to be sharing with you some of my summer beach essentials. I hope you guys are having an amazing summer. Now if you know me, you know that I love going to the beach. I just have a bunch of things that I cannot go to the beach without and I just wanted to share it with you guys and maybe give you some ideas on what to bring next time you go to the beach. I'll be showing you what's in my beach bag. I'll also be sharing some of my favorite swimsuits or bikinis that I've been loving this summer. And if you're new here, welcome. I am a YouTuber from Hawaii. So if you want to see more of my videos, Videos, make sure to hit subscribe and let's just get started all right so the first thing that you need is obviously a bag for me I just use a backpack a Jansport backpack it is so dirty and disgusting it's big it holds a lot so let's just take a look at what's inside here so the first thing probably one of the most important things is water you need water you need to stay hydrated when you're at the beach especially if you're going to be at the beach for a long time i think this is a 32 ounce hydro flask it will keep your water cold for i want to say like 24 hours any kind of water bottle that is going to keep your drinks cold for a very long time even in the hot sun that is essential the next thing that you need is something to lie on this is my favorite beach towel it is from sand cloud and they are super great quality very sturdy as well i've had this for like two years I want to say and I still use it I use it every time that I go to the beach this one is huge I think this is their sea foam extra large pocket towel and it's great I think it's like six feet by like five feet or something um, so I could fit like me and two other friends on this and it's also good because it has a little pocket right here store stuff inside of it and like hide things like your phone or something a lot of beach towels are really really heavy but this is so lightweight and compact I also have a code that you guys can use to get 25% off of your purchase so just enter Michelle ka25 and you can get 25% off I usually use my sand cloud and another type of blanket I like to have a little bit more room to like spread out and stuff so I usually use this and this blanket which is like a tapestry but I use it as a beach blanket as well so this one is also pretty large I got this on Amazon I can leave a link to this in the description box below if you want to find it the next thing that you need is very important and it is sunscreen like everyone needs sunscreen at the beach you need to protect your skin so this is the one that I've been using it's just a banana boat 50 plus SPF and I use this on my face and my body and I use a lot this next item I always bring to the beach and it is a hat if you follow me on Instagram or snapchat you might have seen me wear this hat in some of my snaps before I love it because it is super wide brimmed so when I wear it it kind of gives me some shade on my shoulders and my face to make sure that this area does not get sunburns but any type of straw hat with a wide brim will work perfectly this next item is a GoPro. I know GoPros are pretty expensive but you don't need a GoPro just like any type of underwater camera or even like a waterproof case for your iPhone works perfectly fine. Speaking of taking photos, I have been obsessed with taking Polaroid photos this summer as you can see in the back behind me but I usually just put it in like a plastic bag or something just to make sure that it's secured and that it won't get water damaged and that is another essential of mine is to bring plastic bags with you at the beach so I have a big one like this I also have a smaller one that I use for my phone I'm just pulling stuff out of my beach bag at this point so the next thing that I have is my wallet and my little essentials bag so in here I just keep a bunch of random little things like a portable charger I have my inhaler moisturizer oil blotting sheets tampons and things like that so just like everyday essential things I keep it all in this bag I also like to carry around a little mini deodorant and body spray just for like after the beach in case you want to like freshen up a little bit it's always good to have my next essential items are sunglasses so these are the sunglasses that I've been loving this summer this one has like that Ray-Ban style that's really popular but they are from forever 21 I got them like over four years ago love the style of it and I like the purple lenses I also recently got these from forever 21 as well I featured these in my summer haul which I will link up here or in the description box below if you want to see it but they're just like pink reflective round sunglasses and the next pair is my newest pair which are these yellow frames 
springs and I got these from Charlotte Russe. And I've been really into the yellow lenses trend lately so I just decided to pick these up. So the next thing that you need are snacks. Like you can't go to the beach without some snacks or food or something. So I usually bring like a granola bar or like, or like chips just so you can munch on them. The next thing that I like to bring are floaties. I just like crinkle them up super small and just throw them in my bag. You can find some really really cute ones at like Walmart or Target or something. Like there are such cute ones now. So go pick yourself up some floaties. So the next thing is something that I don't bring every time but it's good to have and it's fins and a snorkel and mask so I usually bring this if my friends and I are going to like Waimea Bay so these are the fins that I have these are from the fin but I think you can order them online and I also have my mask and my snorkel I think I got this at like Walgreens for like $10 the next item is something that I always wear to the beach and it is my sunrise shell necklace it's just this really gorgeous shell and it's on this wire that hangs on this black cord that I put it on it's just like my beach outfit essential. Another thing that I like to bring is a set of underwear and a bra or something so that I can change into them after the beach especially if I'm like going out somewhere and I don't want like a weird wet spot on my crotch that makes me look like I peed myself. Another good thing to have are speakers. So I got these speakers for my boyfriend. I think I got them at Best Buy and they were kind of pricey but it's waterproof and sandproof so it's perfect for the beach and it has really great sound quality as well. The only bad thing about it is that when you turn it on this lady comes on and says welcome to all tech Lansing and it's so loud that everyone on the beach can hear it and it's kind of annoying I also love having a beach umbrella so I got this one at Costco actually my boyfriend picked it up it's just the Tommy Bahama umbrella I'm sure you've seen a ton of other people using this umbrella I went to the beach one time and I saw that three other people had the exact same umbrella right from this location that we are I can see Four people with the same Costco Tommy Bahama umbrella. There's one right there. There's another one like right there. And there. There's a guy blocking that one right there. And then there's one right there. I mean it's not necessary, but it's nice to have on those like really blazing hot days. And then of course you need swimwear. So I'm gonna show you two. One of them is a bikini set, which looks like this so this is the top wait what happened to my padding uh, it probably came out in the wash anyway this one is by Midori bikinis which is my favorite bikini brand I featured this set in my summer haul as well but it is their water set but I love the minimal style with the triangle cups and it's really great if you want to just like tan because it's so tiny and minimal that it won't give you crazy tan lines same thing with the bottom very tiny very cheeky as well and the next swimsuit is a one piece so I actually got this on Amazon on. It has this green banana leaf pattern on it. The back is pretty open and the side has all of these strings going down and it was less than ten dollars so I will leave a link to all the things in the description box if you want to check them out. I'm trying to change. This is the situation right now. The new look 2017. New swim line coming soon to a store near you. You guys so that is all for my video i hope it helped you out let me know in the comments below what are some of your beach essentials thank you guys so much for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it at any point make sure to subscribe check me out on my social media stay confident and i will see you in my next video bye